Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little drugstore haul for you guys. Um, I had a birthday in September, so I did some, some treating of myself. Um, if you didn't see my Sephora haul, I will link it down below. Um, but I did also do a Shoppers Drug Mart haul. That's generally where I buy my drugstore products. They have a great point system um, and they did have like a redemption event on for the points. So I just, I needed a couple of things and I decided to like just treat myself, you know? So let's dive straight in and I'll show you what I got. So I got a few kind of like boring, more like household type items like this here. So I got the Method Juicy Pear hand wash. I got that for here at the salon, going through a ton of hand wash, as you can imagine. Um, and I like the Method brand, as I've mentioned in previous videos. This is a cruelty-free brand available at the drugstore, Walmart, lots of good places. So happy to have that. And the other sort of necessary item was this here. So I needed deodorant. Um, and I decided to give this one a try. I've never tried it before, but this is the Schmitz natural deodorant and the scent is bergamot and lime. I just really liked the way that sounded. Oh yeah, it smells nice, like really limey. I love that. I normally use the Tom's deodorant. I really like that one. Um, this one was on sale. I needed deodorant and I hadn't tried it before and I liked the way the scent sounded. So picked that up. Great. <laughs> we have deodorant. Um, this one here is a repurchase. So this is the Live Clean Exotic Nectar Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner Spray. I've had this before. I love this so much. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner at the drugstore. Um, I'm currently using a L'Oreal one that I don't love, but it was sent to me, so I just decided to use it up. Um, but I really missed this one. I love this one so much. It has a really nice mister on it like it has a mister like a setting spray it's really fine really nice so you don't get like a big glob of it in your hair and then it like weighs your hair down you know so really love that it's like under ten dollars it's like closer to five dollars so very excited to have that back i picked up a couple of covergirl products here you guys know i've been having a great time trying out all of their mascaras in their range um, and i decided to give this one a try i think this is the one that my friend uses, but I'm not 100% sure. So this is the Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. It's supposed to give volume and length. I got the shade Very Black, um, and it does have like the fibers in it, which I haven't had great luck with in the past, but I have high hopes, but I really like the way the wand looks. It is like a rubbery wand, but it does have like the longer bristles on it, which I really like. So it should give some nice separation. I'll definitely let you guys know about that in a future speed reviews video. And then I also picked up their Lash and Brow Serum. So this is supposed to help grow the lashes and the brows. I didn't really buy it so much for the lashes. In general, stuff like this irritates my eyes. I will try it, um, but I bought it more for my eyebrows. <laughs> I just would love to have more eyebrow hairs, you know? I would love that for me. So I'm gonna give it a try. It's worth a shot. It was like $10. I've tried other products like this in the past that were very expensive and I did see results, but you had to kind of keep using it. So if I if something like this works well and it's around the $10 mark, I'm much more likely to continue with it. So we shall see. Um, I just wanna try everything that CoverGirl has, you know? And then I did pick up a new foundation. I don't need this. I also think it's gonna to be too light for me, but this is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is the one, this one has been getting very good reviews and Tati just about lost her mind over this one. So I was like, well, Tati loved it. I need to get it, right? So I got it in neutral ivory. Um, again, I think it's gonna be a little bit light, but we are going into like, fall and winter and I'm only going to get paler from here. So again, I'll let you guys know about this in future speed reviews, but I'm excited. I've just been really struggling with foundations lately. You know, I'm in my mid thirties now and things are just not sitting as nicely on my skin as they once did. I also think we're transitioning into a new season and there's always a little bit of growing pains with that. So 
I just thought this one might be fun to try and I've heard it's got really great coverage and all those good things. Of course, I have a full face of makeup on right now, so I can't test this out for you guys right this minute. But let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see this in like a get ready with me sometime soon. I picked up a couple of e.l.f. products. So this is a lipstick. Oh my gosh, like I feel so stupid that I ordered this now because when I ordered this, we were not having to wear masks at work anymore. And now we're back to like mask mandates and it just seems so foolish that I bought this. But anyways, it was like $5. This is a lipstick called their Seriously Satin Lipstick. And I got the shade called Cream. Um, I heard a lot of people say that this is a really great lipstick to just sort of like lighten the inside of the lips, like do a darker lip liner and then do a little bit of this on the center of the lips. Heard it's really creamy feels really nice on the skin or on, on the lips i should say and this is the shade right here so i just thought i'd give it a try oh yeah it feels nice so it's really really light but it's really creamy so it almost has like a little bit of a lip balmy texture to it so i think that's going to work really well for the intended purpose um i won't be able to wear it obviously throughout the day at work but i can definitely wear it you know, for videos and stuff like that, right? And then the other e.l.f. product that I picked up is this Wow Brow Gel. I've also heard really good things about this, so I had to try it. I'm currently using the Benefit Gimme Brow, and it's fine. I don't find it gives a lot of hold or a lot of, like, fibers or anything. So anyway, I thought that I would try this out. Again, it was, like, $5, and I got the shade Neutral Brown, I think is going to be a really good shade for me actually you guys can't tell it just looks like a mascara one but it has little fibers in there you know so we'll give that a shot and see if I like that better than the benefit one and then the last thing that I purchased is a little eyeshadow palette so if you guys are following my project pan you know that I've been trying to pan the elf mad for mattes nude mood eyeshadow palette and I only have one eyeshadow left in that and so I've been trying to decide what I wanted to replace that with um, I just wanted something small and concise that I could travel with that was very simple that doesn't take up a lot of space as sort of my everyday neutral matte eyeshadow palette and I found this one from Milani and it's all the colors it's a better color range than the elf one that I'm almost done with this is called their most wanted palette and it's in the shade range partner in crime so it's all mattes all nudes it's got that pinky tone that I love it's got those sort of more tan kind of colors it's got a couple of darker shades very excited about that I just want to see I've had really good luck with, oh, they feel really nice. I've had really good luck with Milani palettes in the past. Yeah, I think those are going to be really blendable. I'm very excited about those. They feel really soft. They have a nice amount of pigment without being too pigmented. You know, something like this, I don't want it to be super duper pigmented. I want it to be easy to work with. So I'm very excited about that. So that will be kind of my replacement for that e.l.f. palette when it's gone. And then they did throw in sort of a gift with purchase. So this is the La Roche Posay B5 Serum. So this is like a hyaluronic acid and niacinamide serum. Um, this is my, actually one of my best friends. This is like her favorite serum. I actually recommended it to her. So happy to have this. This is a great little travel size. Hyaluronic acid and niacinamide are two of my fave ingredients. So great to have that in a little travel size that I can take with me someday when I travel somewhere. So I thought that was a good little add on. And that's it. That's all that I got. That's my little shopper's haul. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these. Have you tried this serum? Are my brows going to grow in? I mean, here's hoping. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.